So I know you've heard of heavy metals, and it's not heavy metal music. It's actual heavy metals in the environment. You know when they advise pregnant women to not eat fish? Because why? Because fish is loaded with mercury. And I know that from measuring many people's blood and urine test of heavy metals. So what are the heavy metals? Well, there's mercury, there's lead, there's cadmium, there's arsenic, and these metals, there's no safe level of any heavy metal in your body. So how do we measure them? We measure them, first of all, in the blood, and then we can also do a urine assessment. There's also a hair assessment. So what would heavy hey, metals do to the body? Well, symptomatically, they can cause everything from anxiety, depression, fatigue, contribute to many chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease. So this is why it's a very important assessment of the body to see because it can tremendously cause serious problems. What do heavy metals do in the body? They interfere with DNA replication. What is DNA replication? That is how your cells take care of itself and repair itself every single day. They recreate rusting in the body. They recreate inflammation. They interfere with the Krebs cycle of energy how you make your ATP every single day. Now, what would you do if you found heavy metals? Heavy metals, we do, first of all, you start cleansing. First of all, you need to be mindful of what you're eating. A lot of people who eat fish have high mercury. The other uh, situation is you have mercury amalgams in your mouth. They put mercury amalgams uh, still in your mouth, but mercury is very close to the brain and to the thyroid, so we wanna be very careful about not putting mercury amalgams in our mouth. Then the body bioaccumulates over time heavy metals. Like for example, lead. Lead, we have hundreds of thousand times the level that we had 50 years ago. So these are creating a body burden. So we gotta start cleansing. You can do infrared sauna, you can take chlorella, you may need to take targeted agents. You may need to do chelation, depending on your personal situation and our evaluation of you, we would determine what the best detoxification process is for you.